everybody and welcome back to Flock Talk. We are going to be doing another unboxing today. This time the order is from My Safe Bird Store. I have ordered from My Safe Bird Store before. I think I've only done it once or twice in the past, but they always have such a wide selection of toy parts. They have very unique things and things I haven't really seen in any other online retailer before. So I do really, really enjoy them. They are an American-based company, so I just don't order from them very often just because shipping tends to get a little bit more expensive and it's just sort of out of the way for me to do. However, they are always super, super cute and super caring people. So we did a great big bulk toy part order from My Safe Bird Store today. Before we hop into the actual toy parts, My Safe Bird Store always includes these cute little added gifts every single time that they give you a package. This time they gave it to me in a box and then also in this little gift bag, which is kind of weird, but it's cute and it does the job. Um, but they always include these little thank you goodie bag things on top of them. So when you go through and you place an order with them, at the end of it, there's a question that'll say, do you have a dog or a cat or both? And you can select those options and they will send you little goodie treats based on the animals you said that you have in your household. So I do have a dog and I do have a cat, so I selected both of those. So inside this little goodie bag here, there's a wide variety of things. They give you little extra goodies for your birds. There's a bunch of little foot toys, some tiny little toy part samples. So you can kind of try them out, see what things your birds like and they don't. It's always such a cute thing that they do. And they usually seem to try to include pieces that you haven't already ordered. So that way you can give other things a bit of a try and experiment with them. And they don't cheap out on that either. Like they've sent me two fistfuls of toy parts for my teeny teeny tiny birds and like it's super unnecessary they could just give you a single finger trap and call it a day but they really go above and beyond with the little additives they like to give you and i just really appreciate them for that it's such a sweet nice generous thing that they're doing that they don't have to this cute little popcorn bag is almost always included as well and this one is full of goodies for the human so this time they've given you a bunch of little toffees they got some like reese's candy they give you just a bunch of cute little sweets and things for the person to enjoy. Again, not really cheaping out on it. They could have just given you one, but instead they've given you a whole fistful worth of these little salt water taffies. And they're just, it's awesome. So I do have a dog and a cat as well. So there are two other bags included in there for me. If you say no to that option and you don't have those animals, you won't get these things. But for the cat, they give you this little parchment paper bag here that just has a cute little toy mouse in it. Pretty generic, something that any cat will probably try to engage with. It's just a cute little detail for them to appreciate all the other animals that you do have in your household. And then this last bag, I'm not gonna dump out, <laughs> um, but it's a bunch of biscuits. So they've given you a bunch of different little treat like bones, and this is for the dog option, obviously. These are some cute little puppy treats that you can give your dog. And this one's so cute. They're actually shaped like little dogs. They've got four functional legs. It's very interesting. I've never seen these biscuits before. So let's go ahead and hop on into the actual order now. This is gonna be a little bit tricky because my invoice doesn't have like images of what each item is. So I'm gonna do my best to figure out exactly what each thing is. Um, but if I get one wrong, I'm really, really sorry. I'm gonna go through this afterwards and I'll edit in the correct names of things, just to make sure that if you guys wanted to find these items on their website, it's a lot easier for you to find them. Um, but I'm gonna do my best to figure it out from the descriptions on here. Um, the whole order today before taxes was $98.42. I'm assuming this is all American because there isn't an option to change their pricing and this is an American website. The shipping to get it to me was $51. So obviously that is a little expensive. It would have been a bigger box. Um, so grand total for that, it ended up coming out to being about 150, including taxes and everything. So, you know, it's not particularly cheap, but it is really good selection, really good variety. And they have a lot of really unique things that I'm super excited to show you guys today. Um, so we're going to hop on into it and I will do my best to get the names right. So right off the hop, I'm going to try and tip this. Um, when this bag came, th this was tied together, so the thing was sealed and nothing could fall out. And it was inside a cardboard box when it shipped to me. I had to open it because there was a bit of a shipping confusion. Um, so I wanted to make sure everything was the way it was supposed to be and this was the correct order, etc. I haven't gone ahead and unpackaged everything, um, so I still don't fully remember what's in here. But right off the hop, I just wanted to show you guys that they do package everything. And I'm pretty sure this is because I ordered a bunch of parts, so obviously they're bagging everything to keep it 
together, keep all the individual pieces separate from one another. So I'm not just getting one big mixed bag and having to sort through everything myself. Uh, I do enjoy that they did that. I kind of wish that it wasn't wrapped in plastic. I would have loved if everything was just wrapped in paper or reusable paper bags, whatever. Not the end of the world. It is still really cute and I appreciate that they separated all the toy parts. So it's really easy for me to find everything, make sure I got everything there and not having to separate it and sort it myself. Hopping on into it. This is most likely the natural rattan spring. This is a 25 pack. This was $3.50, so pretty cheap for 25 pieces. This is super, super cool. I always find springs that are made of a really, really stiff, harder wood. These are very, very springy, very, very soft, and they just are very, very mobile. So it'll be nice and easy for Newt to either use this as a foot toy or for me to incorporate it into other toys. I could stuff it full of like the crinkled paper and that'll be super, super easy. I am so excited for this. It seems like a whole lot of fun. Next up, this one's wrapped in tissue paper. Oh, I've ordered these ones before. So this one is the Natural Cane Tornado. I've used these before and you'll see them in toys in the background of my videos. Um, I use them a lot for the ends of toys because they make a nice little, this is a nice way to finish off a toy where you don't have a huge string hanging off the end because you can tie it around one of the branches at the top and just leave it dangling around. This is the material I'm used to that the springs would usually be made out of where it's a lot stiffer, it's a lot firmer. It still has a really nice crack to it and it's not too difficult to actually kind of drill a hole in the side if you wanted to put it horizontally on your toy. It's easy enough just to kind of poke a little pin through it and get your string through it that way. Um, if you lack power tools and things, that's how I used to have to make my toys all the time because I just didn't have power tools or I didn't feel comfortable using them. So just using things like knives, exacto blades or pins, pens, whatever I had on hand was what I was most comfortable using. These I purchased individually. They were 25 cents each and I got 10 of them. Two, three, four, five, six. Well, it says I got 10, but this is definitely seven. But these were 25 cents each for each of these. So again, not super unreasonable. It only came out to $2.50 for, you know, a pack of 10 of them, which absolutely is not expensive at all. They have such good prices for their toy parts. I really can't complain. I'm pretty sure these are American though. So if somebody wants to do the conversion, go ahead. Um, obviously when you switch over to Canadian dollars, it ends up being more expensive in the long run, but overall, not too bad, so I'm not gonna complain about it. These guys I've used like once before, and they're just a really nice filler when you're building a toy to kind of put in space. You can usually find a vine that's wide enough to be able to kind of pry them open and fit a whole Nutriberry in. This is the natural vine ball. This is the one that's six centimeters. So these were 55 cents each, which for the size of them is not bad. I only ordered five of them because I have very small birds, so I tend to use the smaller vine balls more often. Um, but I do enjoy using these, just kind of add a little bit of variety, add a little bit of texture to the toy, make it a little bit different. Again, something that's easy to use for foraging, something that I can stuff and fill with paper or other little toy parts and just make a whole lot of fun out of it. Ooh, this is a lot more than I thought it was. <laughs> these were called vine sticks on the website and they are in a 25 pack. That's another thing I really enjoy is that you can either purchase toys individually. So if you just want to try a couple things, you can usually buy single pieces and give each toy part kind of an experiment without having to kind of dive right in and buy a whole ton of them. And then when it comes to buying them in bulk and buying bags like this, they usually have a bunch of varieties of getting five, 25, 50, 100 and more depending on the part. So you can really kind of pick and choose and you don't have to be so limited to going, oh, well, I want this, but I don't want that many. So that's really awesome for me, honestly, because I love experimenting with different things, but I don't love spending a ton on something that the birds might not end up liking. Um, but these guys here are vine sticks. So for the pack of 25, it was $6.69. Absolutely not bad at all. This is again, something I usually use just to add a bit of texture. It also adds a nice perching area. So if I'm making a bit of a longer toy, Mia does have a, a sideways foot, so she doesn't always perch the best. And I like to give her somewhere nice to sit on the toy. So she's not having to hang upside down to forage just because it can tire her out. It can make her leg a little bit sore. So I always like to add something like this to it. So that way she can stand on the toy and kind of take a rest, but still be able to play and enjoy things without having to exhaust herself or hurt herself or anything like that. We're gonna start running out of room very quickly. Okay, these I've never ordered before. What the heck are these? I think these are called scoopers. I'd have to double check the website on what they're made out of, 
So I don't know what the heck this is. It looks like it's some sort of seed pod. You can kind of actually see the indents of where like if this was a giant pea pod or something where all the little peas would have been sitting inside of it. This is so hard. This is rock solid. So if you have a bigger parrot, this is probably a really good foot toy for them, or you could drill a hole in it and incorporate it. I have no idea what I'm gonna use this for. I honestly just really wanted to give some different things a try and kind of experiment and see what they were about. These are super, super cool. I'm excited to have something new in their room. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it yet, but we are gonna figure that out as we go along. Okay, this one. So, <laughs> These are the natural mini corks. I got 25 of them for $2.79. This is an instance where I do what I do best and I don't read product sizing or don't fully understand product sizing. I had no idea the cork was going to be smaller than the tip of my pinky finger. I'm probably just gonna use these as foot toys Maybe I'll incorporate them into foraging, actually. I might be able to stuff them inside of um, like a vine ball or something. Otherwise, I have no idea what the heck I'm gonna do with these. These are half the size I thought they were, and that's totally my fault. That's not the store's fault. I didn't read the packaging or the product sizing and just assumed there's no way a cork could be this small. Why would it be that small? Um, turns out they can be that small. The other thing in here is something I wanted to use for the end of a toy. Yeah, so this is the Raffia tassel in a six pack. So this guy was $1.59, absolutely not expensive at all. It's just Raffia, so obviously that material is not in a super expensive one. I find that Raffia is an awesome material for small birds though, because they can tear it to shreds, they can break it up really quickly, and it's not frustrating. A lot of the harder woods, when they struggle to break through it, or they just don't enjoy how much pressure they have to exert in order to achieve that destruction, it can be really, really frustrating. So having something like this that's really easy to break and still has that satisfying crunch to it, I always just find that small birds really, really love it. So I'm really excited to have these. I've never used them before, um, but they're just little tassels that you're gonna hang off the end of a toy. Usually you can incorporate them however you feel like, but usually you would use them to finish off the end of a toy, bring that string to an end and have a good solid kind of fuzzy end to it that can be lots of fun for them to rip and shred apart. So it adds more to the end of the toy without it having to just come to a dead end with the, with the, with the string. These are so light. So this looks like a lot. I don't, how much did I order? This was half an ounce of Sola purses, which was $3.59. Again, really cheap. And this is a lot. Like I knew Sola wood was light. So when they measured things in ounces, I figured it was gonna be smaller amounts, but this is quite a bit. I don't know how many pieces are in here. I'll have to pull them out and count them later. But this is, so many pieces and it's that same really soft wood that I've talked about before that almost just feels like a sponge and you can just rip it and tear it apart and it's really quick. These seem to be almost like little pouches that I'm sure I could stuff more treats into and have them fully concealed. So the birds really have to search and scour in order to find where things are hidden. I'm super, super excited for these. This is something I love about Wide Safe Bird Store is they have such unique items that I can't find anywhere else. I've never seen these listed anywhere except for on their website. And it's such a unique, cool idea. It's such an easy foraging idea. It could be a foot toy for a larger bird. It could be a foot toy for like a small to medium bird. And it's just all around, I'm so excited. Da -da -da -da. So this is a palm chain. I ordered eight feet of it. So this stuff you order by the foot, this was $7 for eight feet which it is a little bit more expensive, but I'm not too worried about it. This is something I always just add more for visual than anything. I find my birds don't really chew it that much, but it's kind of that in between where it's soft enough for them to chew, but because of the material it's made out of, it kind of holds together really well. So it's like, if you try to rip it, it's not really going to. So it can be a little difficult for some birds to actually break through depending on the bird. But overall, I just enjoy kind of the movement it adds to it and birds who like to grab and thrash things. It's a loose floppy chain that they can throw around and toss. And then it's not incessantly noisy either. So if you have neighbors, you live in an apartment, it can be a good alternative to those heavy metal things that they can be clacking around and being really noisy with. Okay, so this guy is just string. This is one eighth of an inch paper string. I ordered five feet. It cost me a grand total of a dollar. Um, so obviously not expensive. This is what I use most often to string my toys. I also use one that's just one size smaller than it to help string my toys. I just really like using paper string. I find with things like sisal, the string itself is so frayed. There's so many tiny pieces that trying to thread through 
they always get caught and stuck and then it's just really awkward and difficult to actually get it through. Whereas paper string is super, super smooth. So it's really easy to thread toy parts onto and it's just much less of a hassle. It looks like we're about halfway. Yes, this was cork bark. I ordered a quarter of a pound of it for $6.59. So not bad, it's a quarter of a pound. Obviously, if you have a bigger bird, they're gonna go through this very quickly. And that's a little expensive to be paying almost $7 for what's basically only gonna build about two toys, maybe three. Cork is just generally, I find a little bit of a more expensive material, but my birds really, really love it. And I've never actually had the natural cork before. I've always had it shaped into the little, what you would picture a cork to look like sort of shape. Um, but I really wanted to order some of the natural cork that's a bit bigger and see if they would still chew it the same or if they just really only like the shape. Um, but I'm really excited. I, I love the way these look. It literally looks like they stripped it like straight off the bark of a tree. It looks so, so cool. I'm really excited. And there's actually a lot of crevices and things in here, which foraging. Oh, of course. We all know I can't go a single order without getting more pods. I love pods. Oh my gosh. Just for comparison's sake, so these are the small pods and then these are the large ones. I just ordered six of each because I usually only put one in a toy at a time anyways. These, as far as toy parts go, are not that bad actually. I ordered a six pack of each. The large one was $3.89. The small pack was $2.79. Um, Size-wise, there is quite a bit of a difference. The large is about double the size as the small. Um, however, both are fully capable of housing Nutriberries. So really the size comes down to like, if you had a really massive macaw or something, you might feel more comfortable with this one. But basically I'd say that the small ones would be suitable for any smaller bird up to about Honestly, I'd even say up to an African gray, depending on the gray. Um, but overall, you can use either of these for either size birds. I don't use them for the intent of being chewed on, but if you have those really, really big birds, they will probably crunch and break these. They're a super rock solid material, and I just love them because it's a nice natural way to get a cup so you're not having to use plastics and things like that in your bird's environment. And then you can still use like a lid system, create your more complicated foraging systems because foraging toys for small birds tend to be pretty far and few between. So I just, I will never not order cups. I love them. I'm pretty sure I still have some spare in my drawer box that I keep all my toy parts in. But if I'm placing an order, I have to get pods. So these was another thing that I've never seen anywhere else. These were Sola chips. This is only half an ounce. It was $3.69. The thing to remember with Sola wood is it's super, super light and very, very fragile. So if you have a bigger bird, this is not going to do them much good unless you're just using it in like a foraging cup and you want them to pull it out. They're going to destroy these pieces. They feel like paper. They're super thin. They're very easy to break. These are great for your small birds who don't like chewing on wood yet. They aren't super used to it. They don't know what to do. It is fabulous. I love this stuff. I've never seen it in this chipped form before, so I'm super excited to start incorporating that into toys or stuffing it into vine balls. And like I said, half an ounce for, what was it, $3.69? Not expensive, and there's a ton in here. There's gotta be at least 150, 200 pieces. I'm not gonna count them all because that's gonna take me forever. Um, if I did though, I'll put a count here. But uh, yeah, I'm just really excited. It's not a super, super expensive price to pay for how many you get and how many toys you could get out of this piece. Yes, okay, so corks. A normal sized cork. This is, the other one was the mini tapered cork. This is just the natural tapered cork in a 25 pack. This was $5. Again, cork being the more expensive material, same as it was with the bark. It is a little bit pricey, but again, it is 25 pieces. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world and you're gonna get a lot out of it. My birds just really love chewing on cork. They really love the texture of it. So I'm just gonna keep getting it regardless. It's something they enjoy. I don't really mind if it's a little bit more expensive than other materials, if it's something that they're going to use and have fun with. Oh, we're getting to the end. Getting down there. Yes! So these were jute sticks, one ounce of them for $1.50. So extremely cheap, $1.50 for this entire bag. I don't know how many pieces are in here, but it looks like a lot. I've never used jute with the birds. I actually don't even really know what it feels like. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so I can still dent it with my fingernail, but it's got a really satisfying snap and it is like, I can't, oh, there we go. It takes quite a bit of pressure for me to be able to snap it in half. 
That's super cool. I honestly don't know how to describe what this feels like. It's a, it seems like a really good transitional wood bow. Um, this is gonna be awesome for small bird foot toys if you have conures and cockatiels. Holy heck, this is gonna be awesome. It's also got a hole running all the way through it, which is going to be great for foraging, obviously. Can't have a toy part without saying how it can be used for foraging. Um, and it also looks like it'll be really easy to incorporate into toys. If you have a bird that likes to chew strings, I could also see this being a good guard because it's hard enough that they might not be able to break through it right away and you can see the damage they're doing and replace it out before they actually hit the string and completely ruin your toy. I could see that being a really good usage of this. Otherwise, foot toys, I'm super excited for these. I've never used a toy part like that that looks like that, that's anything like that before. I'm super, super stoked. Okay, string. Did I order sisal? Yeah, I did. So I apparently ordered some sisal. This is 1 1 16th. This is the size I would usually order for the paper string to do my toys up. I don't really know why I ordered sisal. I think it's because it's what I use to hang up the toys if the hook is too small to hook over the big ropes. I usually just take a little bit of sisal and tie a little loop and then I hook the toys off of that and I can slide them around. Um, I think I was just running low. So that's why I ordered some more of this because we used up a ton of string making their training stand. So I, I think that's why I ordered this. So it's 15 cents by the foot. I got 10 feet, so it was $1.50. Sissel's another really cheap material. I could also incorporate it into just being a toy, having your bird kind of chew and shred it apart. There are some birds that really, really like string materials. So it would be something you'd have to kind of judge based on what your bird enjoys. I might try it. I don't think I've actually ever really tried it before. You can actually incorporating string to be the playful part of a toy. Um, so maybe I'll try that this time around. So we've only got one more actual toy part in here. What is this? Oh, yeah! So this is a sunflower head. It's the heart of a sunflower for 69 cents each. So it is more expensive as far as toy parts go. 69 cents for one thing is a little expensive in general when you're trying to build and assemble toys. However, I just really wanted to try it. It's literally just a dried out sunflower heart where usually all the seeds would be growing off of, but it's just emptied out and it's just like the root part. I just love incorporating natural foraging things. This is something that a bird would normally be chewing on and having fun with, and I hadn't seen it anywhere else before, so I thought I would give it a try. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to incorporate it into a toy. It does have a little bit of a stem, so I might be able to put a hole through there and actually incorporate it into a toy. If not, I'll just try and kind of slide it through a cage bar or something, or use it as sort of a foot toy or a ground foraging thing. Um, but otherwise, I was just really excited because I'd never seen one of these before, available to purchase anyways, so I just, I really wanted to give it a try. Yeah. The last thing in here is just bulbs. I know on, I think it was my Parrotlet Basics or Parrotlet Care for Beginners video, I mentioned Feather Bright, and since then their bulbs have changed or people have been trying to order the bulbs, but the actual Feather Bright website will only ship within the US. So either you need to have a postal service pickup thing on the other side where then you can drive over and pick it up from that box and bring it over the border yourself. Um, or you can go to my safe bird store and you can get them shipped basically anywhere worldwide. They have a massive list of places that they ship to. So if you wanted the feather bright bulbs, you can get them through my safe bird store. Um, the price is not really any different than ordering it off of the feather bright site directly. So I personally don't mind ordering it from them. And I really appreciate that they support shipping worldwide. So if you wanted the bulbs, you can get them from here. This is what made the bulk of the order expensive, by the way. These bulbs are 17 bucks each. I got two of them, so that was $35. Um, if I were to take that off of the cost of the order here, just the toy parts and all the things that I got to make toys is gonna be $62.44, which is not bad at all. When you think about how much just a toy would cost, which is usually around $10 a toy, usually around the five to $10 mark on average, the amount of toys I can make with this material far surpasses $50 worth of pre-made toys. This is going to make significantly more, it is overall significantly cheaper to buy toy parts and make it than it is to buy them pre-made. Obviously that does depend on what parts you get, whether or not you buy in bulk or individual pieces, all of those things will influence it. But overall, this was only 60 bucks. It would regularly only get me 
six, seven, maybe eight toys if I'm lucky, if I were to buy them pre-made. Um, this is probably going to make me about 20 different toys minimum. Minimum, that's if I'm being like super elaborate and jam packing them and making really massive toys. Um, so this is going to make a ton and I'm so, so excited. Again, if you guys have any small retailers or other bird companies you know of that you would like to see me order from, please let me know. Leave the company name down in the comments or shoot me a message on Instagram, whichever way you want to do it. I just would love to know more different companies I can order from because trying to find different places to order bird toys from is very, very difficult. Trying to look it up online, you only really get like the same four places over and over and over again. And some places just look really sketchy. So if you have any ideas, please just let me know. I really just want to show support for as many companies as we can and kind of just make it more common knowledge of all the different places that we can get parts from because trying to get things for birds that are appropriate for them can be really, really difficult. Um, but that's gonna do it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Pretty? Down? Bang. Good girl.